Snapping to guides can be a frustrating experience if you don't know how to properly set your snapping settings. Let's pull out some guides from our rulers. To get rulers, that's Commander Control R. We'll show your rulers. You can pull out a guide. That's a vertical guide. We can pull out a horizontal guide, just like this. Now I have a square out here, just like a rectangle. And I'm gonna show you how to snap this to the guides. Go up to your view dropdown. Make sure a couple things are turned on. First off, smart guides, check marked. Second, look at guides. Make sure they're not all locked or anything so you can move them around if you need to and make sure they're not hidden. Make sure they're shown here. Third, snap to point, not snap to pixel or grid or glyph. So snap to point, check marked. Okay, once we have all that check marked, I'm gonna zoom in here, press Z and just click and drag. We can move this around and it's going to snap to the guide. And you see that little pink line that goes across that guide a little bit? That is your smart guide telling you, hey, once you got close to this, we're just gonna snap right to it. You could snap it to the top and the vertical and the uh, horizontal one, just like that. That's how you snap to guides. Now, if you're still here, let me show you why you were frustrated. Let's say you turned on snap to pixel and snap to point is not on. Now, I'm gonna zoom in a little more so you can see this. As I move this guy around, he's snapping to pixels. So it's not gonna snap to the guide. You see how it just bumps over that? Even Smart Guides doesn't override snap to pixel. Let me make sure Smart Guides is still turned on. Yes, Smart Guides does the best it can. You can see that tiny X in the upper left-hand corner near it of the rectangle. It thinks it's locking it to that guide, but that guide is not on a pixel. So snap to pixel, can't get it exactly on that guide. So we have to have that turned off because we're not snapping to pixels. You probably don't need snap to point on. You can see how it actually snaps to the guide still, even with snap to point off. But I do like snap to point because other objects will snap to each other based on the points. But I just wanted you to know the difference there. And if you were frustrated, you gotta check some of these settings and make sure those things are turned on. Smart guides and snap to point and now you can snap your shapes and objects to your guides here in Adobe Illustrator.